Hi and welcome to the interview segment of today's recording at Atelier Musical. My name is Heike Bachmann and I have the honor of interviewing today's recording artists, uh, pianist Bobby Avey and trumpeter Kenny Warren. Welcome. Thank Thanks you. for Thank being you. here. Yeah, thank you. Um, I wanted to ask you first out, like, how did you guys meet? We met back in college at SUNY Purchase. Ah. Yeah, I'm, I'm one year older than Bobby, but um, yeah, he's one of my oldest friends in New York. Excellent. And did you start playing as a duo right away together, or that came about I later? I don't think so. We didn't actually start playing much together until um, maybe until the year we lived together in White Plains. Yeah, we met, and then a couple years later, we actually lived together off campus, got to know each other more, Yeah. Um, and would experiment more from there. Is today's recording the first duo recording that you do in that formation, piano and yeah. trumpet? Yeah, yeah. So that was very unusual, or it will be unusual for everyone uh, listening in and coming. <clears throat> so there's no drums, no bass, Yeah. piano Terrifying. and trumpet. Yeah, I just want to say, how does that feel? What are the <laughs> challenges and joys of recording in that formation? It'll be nice. It's, it's going to be just, it's very kind of, uh, we're saying, you know, naked kind of exposed situation. But that creates a lot of space. So certain things can happen that would only happen in that sonic environment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, talking about the playlist for tonight, how did you go about choosing which pieces you will perform and record? Well, we, we both wrote some compositions. Together? Um, we, Bobby wrote a few things, I wrote a few things. Mm -hmm. And we'll do some improvising. And all the pieces are heavily improvised. Mm. Almost all of them. Yeah, having the ability to, uh, <clears throat> to improvise, you write that into the composition. So mm -hmm. uh, similar to writing bullet points for a speech instead of writing the exact okay. sentences and saying you have to pause three seconds mm -hmm. here and, and being very rigid and strict with the guidelines, you can say this and then, right. then we do this or, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it's a set of prescriptions of, of things that could happen but don't have to happen mm -hmm. yeah. per se. So they're compositions but they're... It's, they take loose. different shapes and forms. Try to, yeah, keep, exactly. try to keep it yeah. loose. Yeah. Yeah. So all pieces will be original compositions by both of you? There will be no covers? We have one like cover. One cover. Yeah, that's true. If we play it. We'll see. <laughs> if you play it. <laughs> and one thing that interested me and will interest anyone who is coming today is what is the difference for you when you not only perform, obviously you perform for a live audience, but when you record with a live audience presence mm. as opposed to being in a sealed off studio environment? Yeah, that's an interesting, this is a really special situation in that regard, as mm -hmm. far as, you know, I've, we've obviously performed, we've performed a lot together, <clears throat> and we've, you know, set up a little recording of, in the back, or whatever, but that's not the objective, this being the hope, with the hopes of making a record, right? Yeah. Um, but I'm, I'm also, I, I think the audience kind of charges uh, the, the music and the performance in a way. A lot of times the best music happens at the gig and then you're like, wow, I wish, I wish that was the record, you know. Yeah, yeah, I wish so, we recorded that, right? Yeah. yeah. What so, would you say? Uh, yeah, we, we grew up in an era where if you were going to record, you probably had to fund the whole thing yourself mm -hmm. or find funding for it as opposed to uh, a company saying, please come spend time in the studio as long as it takes, you know. Um, and because of that, there's a big temptation, and, and in conjunction with today's technology, to make it perfect, to put makeup on this thing, for this to be perfect, 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 because you have this one shot or this, right. this shot at only ever so often because it costs a lot of resources, yeah. and you don't make a lot of money being a performer um, of, of this type of music. Uh, and I'm hopeful, and I suspect, that having an audience will will shed some of that, that it's mm -hmm. just going to be whatever it is, um, we're, we're performing. It, it, I think it'll be more freeing yeah. uh, having the audience here, actually. Yeah, and it's going to be a, a small audience, but also it's not a club where you hear, <clears throat> my God, I remember nights at the Blue Note where the dishes going like, yeah, you, right. you literally almost hear the waiter serving, you know, the next course. And right. Yeah, how, much did, how much did I spend to uh, shaking cocktails? <laughs> yes. and, yeah. People talking in the, yeah. 
Um, another question that came to my mind, I know it's not fun to talk about your own playing, but maybe both of you can tell me a little bit what you like about each other's sound. Um, well, nobody plays the piano like Bobby does. He's worked harder than anyone I know to kind of find his own voice. And that's not an easy thing to do on an instrument that is the easiest instrument to make a sound on, you know. Anybody yes. can hit a key on a piano, a nice piano. I can go over and hit a few notes on the piano, it'll sound nice. But Bobby's mm -hmm. really like found this, you know, very particular world that he can conjure with, with, and he did that from, I mean, even back at school was working harder. I mean, he would be in the shed 10 hours a day sometimes, like, so and you see in the shed, that's like in the, the, in, the in the practice room. room yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. They didn't have any actual sheds. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> the pressure is on. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll, I'll echo some of what Kenny said. And the, the, the allure of playing with a particular person is, is that there's a unique experience there. And Kenny doesn't sound like anybody mm -hmm. that I've ever heard. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it, it's it's a tone thing on his instrument. It's a a freedom thing when he plays. Yeah. Um, and it, it's you know there's few people that I'd rather spend time with on a regular basis like in the in this er, in this world than Kenny. Mm -hmm. But here's forty you can name of them. a few. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm I'm just excited to make music with my friend. Yeah, and the first duo recording of the two of you. You've yeah, performed right. as a duo for that's almost right. two decades. On and off. Right? On and, yeah, not super regularly, but mm -hmm. I think this is this idea of making a duo record has probably occurred to us at least at least five, maybe ten years ago. So over the, you know, we've been writing, we even um, yeah, I mean it's taken a few different forms. Yeah. The, mm -hmm. the, the book of music we're going to play tonight, I think everything's written in the last couple of years. Mm. But um, we we've done a few performances like in in the city and a few performances out of the city, but it's also been it's been a while, maybe almost a year since we performed last. So, I mean, so you both are pretty busy with your own stuff and then recording with other people and playing with other people. Right, and, right, uh, right. I see you both. So it's both. Um, kind of a long-standing thing also feels yeah. kind of fresh and you know cool. some so a few of the things we're going to play we just you know, were just written like this week so try try some just try some that's things. good to know yeah. <laughs> that's pretty cool so it's really yeah. fresh stuff yeah. yeah yeah excellent excellent um a lot in jazz is based on jazz performances based on communication mm -hmm. so i think in a trio and a quartet you have obviously sometimes bass and drums and there's the communication going this way with you just being two how does it work how does the communication work with you while you're playing while you're improvising uh i i mean it's it's akin to being working for a large company um where any decision that's made you know this, this is a giant ship in the water and to change direction mm -hmm. either way it's going to take time it's going to take yeah it, whereas I could I could go anywhere and he could go anywhere really at any moment and um, it's much easier to pivot and, and be um, nimble uh, mm -hmm. once just a duo. Mm -hmm. We're mm -hmm. very much looking forward to tonight. Like we are very curious. Everyone is piano and trumpet. Like I don't think anyone, <laughs> not many. You know there are not many recordings out there. Piano and trumpet. It's a very unique yeah. setting. I I can I can think of a few, but yeah, there there, it's a bit of a daring yeah Ho hopefully people will walk away feeling that it, it was a, f a fresh and unique experience for them yeah. yes you know. and two leaders playing together to you know you have your own or can i say you record under your own names yeah. and um friends and leaders you know working together that's yeah, great that's right. so thanks for talking to us this certainly added another layer to tonight's uh, performance for the audience and um, we want to also thank our online audience for tuning in. If you want to find out more about Atelier Musical, find us um, online at ateliermusical.art. 
um, to sign up, possibly to attend one of our free concerts. And uh, we look forward to hearing from you. I just want to say that the space is incredible and we're really happy to be here. So thanks, thanks for having Super. us. Excellent. Yeah. Beautiful. We are happy to have you. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks. Thank you.